Corbyn has the call. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. The government has already cut almost a billion dollars from clean energy and public good R&D and still plans to axe Australia's leading clean energy agencies, ARENA and the CEFC. If you really want us to believe the government has travelled down the road to Damascus on the way to Paris, instead of whipping out another $23 billion from clean energy research, development and investment, will you commit here and now to retaining the Australian Renewable Energy Agency and the Clean Energy Finance Corporation and doubling their budgets? The Treasurer has the call. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm glad to see that the Greens and Labor are once again in, in very strong alliance on these issues, a very strong alliance between Greens and Labor when it comes to these issues, when it comes to economic policy, when it comes to how money should just be Members spent willy-nilly well off into the future. There's a strong bond between Labor and the Greens on these issues, an unbreakable bond, Mr. Sp a bond which will never be broken, I suspect, Mr Speaker. But when it comes to the matters that the members have raised, Mr Speaker, the government's policy remains exactly as we have presented to the Senate and we have no plans to change that, Mr Speaker. What we have done is we've gone down the path of actually meeting our Kyoto Mark 1 targets. Australia has, is meeting those targets. It will meet that target, and we are going to that Member conference Perth. in Paris with a target Member of 26 to 28 per cent, which is a measured, responsible, calibrated response to the challenges that we face. Now, there is an alternative proposal, which I know the Greens would be very interested in, Mr. Speaker, and I suspect they wrote the crib notes for the opposition on what it should be, with a 45 per cent reduction in emissions. 45 45 per cent reduction in emissions. That's what those opposite are proposing, egged on by the Greens. Now, what we see from those opposite when we come to this, when it comes to the economy, some of us in, in this place will remember Pac-Man, the old computer game Pac-Man. The, the opposition and the Greens, when it comes to this issue, is like a Pac-Man just going around gobbling up jobs and gobbling up the economy and gobbling up the budget. And you know what happens at the end of Pac-Man? It's game over, and that's what it would be for the economy if you were ever let near it again. The member for